You may never have set foot in space, but you probably come in contact with a lot of NASA technology in your everyday life. This is thanks to spin-off technologies, inventions that were developed for NASA missions, but were so brilliant, they became available to regular folks like you and me. NASA has over 6,300 patents to its name, and at least 1,800 of those have spun off into spin-off technology. So you can probably find one of these wherever you turn, from your toolbox to your medicine cabinet. Here are just four of the more common things that you probably take for granted, but in fact literally took rocket scientists to invent. First, cordless tools, from dust busters to drills to garden clippers. The first battery-powered handheld tool was a simple drill, powered by nickel-cadmium cells invented by Black & Decker in 1961. But it wasn't until the Apollo moon mission that the technology was really perfected. Astronauts needed a lightweight drill to extract rock samples from the moon. But of course there weren't exactly power outlets up there, and it's hard to imagine Neil Armstrong bouncing around with an extension cord. Black & Decker worked with NASA to develop a computer program that optimized their drill's motor. The new design reduced the kickback from things being drilled, called torque reaction, and also extended battery life. On the moon, it worked very nicely, thank you very much. Now that basic motor design is in house sold tools everywhere. Next, remember the last time you were really sick and went to the doctor? A nurse probably popped a gadget in your ear, waited two seconds, and then reported that you had a fever. Before 1991, these aural infrared thermometers didn't exist. If you wanted to know how sick you were, you'd have to wait around with a mercury thermometer under your tongue or a... Uh, but ain't nobody got time for that. Plus, mercury is hecka toxic, so why would you put it in your mouth? So, the Diatech Corporation turned to the Jet Propulsion Laboratory to examine the infrared technology it used to measure the temperatures of distant stars. They used it to create a thermometer that measures the infrared energy emitted from your eardrum, giving results in a fraction of the time of a mercury thermometer while avoiding contact with anything that could cause cross infection. Third, Think about modern glasses and sunglasses. Not too long ago, eyeglasses were actually made of glass. In the 1970s, regulators began requiring them to be made of plastic, because it's lighter, safer, and it won't shatter into your eyeball. But plastic also scratches really easily, which sucks. At the time, NASA was working on a different problem. Its engineers were trying to come up with a new water purification system, and in the process, they developed a really sleek, hard new coating for the filters, made from a compound of carbon and silicon. The stuff turned out to be incredibly durable, and soon became used as a scratch-resistant coating to protect all kinds of equipment, especially astronaut helmet visors, from the dings and dents of flying particles in outer space. By the 1990s, mainstream manufacturers began using the same technology, and now almost all kinds of glasses use some form of it. Finally, one of the most famous spin-off technologies began under astronauts' butts. In the 1970s, NASA realized it needed better cushioning to make seats and crash pads that could withstand the impact of landing. So, it developed an open-cell plastic foam made from polyurethane and silicone that absorbed shock efficiently by spreading it out. But the foam could also quickly spring back, returning to its original shape even after being compressed to 10% of its original size. That Temper, or memory foam, is now used in airplane cushions, football helmets, motorcycle seats, and yes, those mattresses that let you jump around without spilling your glass of wine. So think about it. In addition to missions to asteroids and telescopes that probe the distant reaches of the universe and space stations that conduct experiments in orbit, NASA's inventing stuff that helps you work, stay healthy, and most importantly, keep your butt comfortable. Thanks, NASA! And thanks to you for joining me for SciShow Space. If you want to help us keep exploring the universe together, just go to subbable.com slash scishow. And don't forget to go to youtube.com slash scishowspace and subscribe. <laughs>